at the park with Judy. I know what you're thinking. I doubt that. It's not that hard to figure out. You think I'm avoiding our daughter, but I actually have a very good reason for her not being here right now. Really? What's that? Lainey's coming over. So what's that supposed to mean? It means that I'm doing what you want. Unless you suddenly decided that that's not enough anymore. I thought you wanted me to get help, and that's what I'm doing. Why are you being like this? Being like what, probably? I mean, I apologize if I'm not being nice to you after you abandoned me and Emma. I know that I hurt you. And I'm sorry. I completely screwed up. But now, I, I mean, at least I've admitted it, that I have a problem, and that I'm taking steps to fix it. Or unless you're just pacifying me until the next time you make your great escape. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Fair? <laughs> Robin, really? You want to talk about being fair right now? Well, before, I didn't even know that I had a problem, okay? And now I've admitted it. I'm going to get help. I mean, I told you, Does Lainey's coming over. Does know why she's and... coming over here? Does she know she's coming in a professional capacity? Does she know you've been completely out of control? Is there anything that you want to tell me? Like what? I don't know. I mean, have you had some sort of felt some dissatisfaction that's directed at me. No, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Is everything, everything that you felt, everything you've been through, do you, do you feel like it's all been out of your control? As opposed to what, something deliberate? Yes, deliberate. I don't know. I think it's the depression. You know what, forget it, just... You need to get better. But eventually you'll be able to forgive me for walking out on you and Emma, right? It's leaning. <clears throat> hey! Hi! Oh, I'm so glad to get your call. Hi! It's been forever since we've had brunch together. There's this uh, new bistro over on Walnut I've been dying. What's wrong? Don't worry about anything. You need to get to work. I know what I have to do. Sorry, I should have. I should have been honest with you. I didn't want to have lunch. I um. I mean, we can eat, but <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you. Okay. Um, for a long time, Patrick has suspected that I have postpartum depression, and uh, I was in denial for a long time. But... I need help. Well, I'd ask how things are going, but I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. I owe you an apology. Oh, okay. Well, that explains it. I'm serious, man, I do. Listen, I went off on you for telling the truth about what happened, what was going on in my household, and... Robin's in the throes of postpartum depression, and, you know, there's no doubt in my mind about that now. Maybe there never was, but I just didn't want it to be true, you know? Maybe you were right about that also. Well, for what it's worth, I'm not enjoying it. Robin's talking to Lady right now, and I really don't know if that's the right thing to do, but it's the only step that she was able to take right now. I just hope that it's a step in the right direction. I realize I'm putting you in an awkward position. I know psychiatrists don't normally treat their friends. I just, I don't know if I could honestly admit what I've done to a stranger. Maybe we should start at the beginning. Okay. 
Let's start at the day Emma was born. She would cry. I would pick her up, and I just always made things worse. But Patrick didn't have a problem, I and mean, he was great with her. The second he walked in the room, she would start gurgling and kicking her little legs. That must have been difficult for you. Yeah, it was. But it was a relief, too, because if he took care of her, then that meant I didn't have to. And I didn't have to pretend to feel what I did not have the capacity to feel. What was that? What did you think you were supposed to feel? I don't know. I guess magically connected to my child in some way, that, that I should instinctually know how to keep my child happy and calm, but I didn't feel that. I mean, I didn't, I didn't feel that bond that you hear and, and read about. Mm. How did you feel? I don't know. Overwhelmed, miserable, incompetent, like, like I just made a big, terrible, uh, mistake. Out. Lady, hey, uh, how, how did it go? Before I say anything, I just have to say, Robin didn't tell me she wanted to speak to me in a professional capacity. And if she yeah. had, I, I definitely would have referred her to somebody else. I understand that. Um, without violating any confidences, what can you tell me? Robin definitely needs help, and she knows that, but asking for it, accepting it, that might be a harder road to navigate. So she didn't talk to you about it at all? Well, she started to. Then she shut down. She ran out. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, Patrick. I think Robin's in real trouble. think that I'm crazy. He wouldn't be far from the truth. I doubt that. No, it's true. It's official. I have postpartum depression. Remember how I used to make all those lofty moral judgments about Carly? How could anyone leave their child? Well, I found out. <laughs> At least Carly bailed and didn't try to fake it. Now I've just ruined my entire life. Ugh. God, Jason. There's something that I didn't tell Patrick. One day I was called into Mercy and I was with Emma at Kelly's. And I just took off and went to the hospital. I forgot my daughter. She was sitting there for hours. I mean, what if something had happened to her? What if someone had taken her? But I didn't care about that. My ego was more important than my own child. I, I, I have no right to have a child. 